The second example requires the volume of direct runoff. You are watching Hydrology. When we draw a hydrograph, there will always be two parts of the water. The one on top is the direct runoff, which we can use to run our water projects. And the one at the bottom is the base flow, which is the amount of water underneath the grid replenishing streams and rivers. Now let's discuss how to separate direct runoff from the base flow. Say we have a hydrograph. This is the plot of time versus the discharge. The first point on the curve is the start of the runoff. Another point is also known as the peak discharge. There is also a third point after the peak, which marks the end of the runoff. By identifying the start and end of the runoff, we can separate the base flow with a connecting line. This is the concept of single line method. The problem includes a data set with 14 points, with which we are to draw a hydrograph with a catchment area of 5,033 square kilometers. So first, we draw the hydrograph. Take note that the x-axis, which is for time, is in days. Then the total flow is still in cumex, that is cubic meters per second. The highest flow is almost 35,000. So, with the small space we have, we place intervals of 7,000 cumex. Now check intersections of each pair of coordinates in order to plot the points in the hydrograph. After which, connect these points to create the curve. Note that the highest flow is at T of 2 days, with 34,300 cumex. From T of 3 days, the ordinates slide down. So from the graph, we can see that the start of runoff is at the first day, with ordinate of 2,340. Then we also have to identify the end of runoff. With a smoother recession limb, identification of the end of runoff is through a formula. That is n, which is equal to 0 0.8 of the area raised to 0 0.2. N is the number of days from the peak discharge. So plugging in the area of 5,033, we get N as 4.4, which is rounded down to 4 days. If we start at the second day and N is 4 days, the end of runoff is then on the sixth day, with total flow of 5,740. So with the identification of these two points, Work on a single line method by just connecting them to separate the base flow from direct runoff. Zooming in on the separator, what we have is a triangle with a lower point as 2340 and a higher vertex of 5740. Take the difference of height, that's 5740 less 2340 giving 3,400 cumex. Then the x distance is for 5 days. So if we wish to look for the per day increment, y is just the full height divided by 5. That's 3,400 over 5, which gives 680 cumex per day. With this figured out, we can then define the base flow per day. For the base flow on the second day, Take the reference height of 2340 and add one increment of 680, making 3020. For the third day, base flow is computed as 2340 plus twice of the increment, producing 3700 cumex. The fourth day has a base flow of 2340 plus thrice of 680. This is simplified as 4380. And on the fifth day, base flow is 2,340 plus 4 times 
5,680,680, giving 5,060 QMEX. Next is to place the base flow values in a table. On the first day, the total flow is also taken wholly as base flow of 2,340. From day 2 until day 5, take the computed values earlier, having 3,020, 3,700, 4,380, and 5,060. For the sixth day, which is the end of the runoff, the total flow is also considered as all base flow, which is 5,740, then all the succeeding days will all contribute to the base flow. To solve for the direct runoff, it is easier to tabulate the figures. For the first day, since the total flow is considered as base flow, there is no direct runoff. The second day has a total flow of 34,300 and base flow of 3,020 is subtracted, giving 31,280 direct runoff. For the third day, DR is computed as 25,000 less 3,700, giving 21,300 QMEX. The fourth day has DR of 14,000 minus 4,380 or 9,620 QMEX. The fifth day has DR of 8,960 minus 5,060, that is 3,900 direct runoff. From day 6 to 14, the total flow is solely transformed to base flow, which means there is no yield for direct runoff. Taking the summation of DR, we have 66,100 QMEX, where the volume of direct runoff is multiplied by the time converted into 24 hours, after which attach the conversion factor of 3,600 seconds per hour. Then, at this point, seconds and hours cancel out, giving the volume of direct runoff of 5.711 megacubic meters.